Hello guys, what else we look at uh, integration? We have, in our previous lessons, we have done differentiation, and integration is actually the reverse. This is actually the reverse of, inter of differentiation. So when you talk about integration, we are looking at the reverse of differentiation. L let's recall what we did. Recall this, recall that uh, when you are taught to, when you are given y, equals 10x power 3 plus maybe 2x. You are told find dy over dx. To find dy d over dx, you take this, multiply by this, that becomes 30x. This minus 1, you'll get 2. Then plus, uh, this one is power 1, so it's 1 times this, it would become 2. That would be your differentiation. This time, we are doing the reverse. Given, you can be told now to integrate. The sign for integration, the sign for integration can be told integrate. Then the sign for integration looks like this. Integrate 30x squared plus 2. First, we look at the normal integration rule. The normal integration rule is that when you are given, when you are given x, power n, and you have to integrate, what you do is that you take x n plus 1 divided by n plus 1. The reason we are plusing 1 is because when, uh, w when you are doing differentiation, you take this. You take this, you minus 1. So to reverse that, you add 1. So to reverse that, we add 1. The reason we are dividing by n plus 1 is because during differentiation, you took this multiplied by this to get this. But now, to reverse the effect, you have to add 1 here and divide by this so that you can get 10. So let's see whether it will work for, the, for us. So here we shall have this. We take, this is a 30x. We know we should add 1. We have 2 plus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 plus 2, we have n plus one, 2, then x is raised to power 0 plus 1 divided by 0 plus 1. So that means here we shall have 30 x power 3 divided by 3, which, well, sorry, plus 2 x over 1. When you simplify this, you get 10. This gets, gives you 10 x power 3 plus 2 x. If you look at this, we have reversed and gone back to our initial y. So all I'm saying is that integration is the reverse of differentiation. To apply differentiation, then you can be given such an example. We know how to get MR. We know that, we know that, recall that uh, when you are getting MR, we actually differentiate total revenue in respect to uh, Q. So this implies that when you want to get total revenue, we shall actually integrate MR. So to get total revenue, to get total revenue, I integrate this. To integrate this is 100 Q power 0 plus 1 divided by 0 plus 1 minus 2 Q power 1 plus 1 divided by 1 plus 1. So this means we shall have 100 Q minus 2 Q squared divided by 2. When you cancel this, we shall have 100 Q minus 2 Q squared. Sorry, minus Q squared. This is your, this is your total revenue function. This is your total revenue derived from the MR function. Then we can get the total cost. Remember, when you are getting MC, we say differentiate total cost in respect to DQ. So that means to get total cost. This implies to get total cost, you actually integrate MC. So to integrate this, uh, we have 5Q, which is power 1. You plus 1, and you divide by 1 plus 1. Then you plus 50. Then you have q power 0 plus 1 divided by 0 plus 1. 
This becomes 5 over 2q squared plus 50q. If you want to get the profit, if you want to get the profit, we know profit equals, so this is our total cost. We know profit, profit equals total revenue minus total cost. So our total revenue is 100q minus q squared. All this you minus 5 over 2q squared plus 50q. This becomes, uh, this becomes, we can open the bracket, 100q minus q squared minus 5 over 2q squared minus 50q. So 100q minus 50q becomes 50, sorry, becomes 50q. Then minus this, minus this, this becomes minus, this one you can simplify or you can still add a 2 on top. If you have minus and minus, you can still add a 2. So we, this becomes minus 7 over 2 q squared. Remember I'm adding a 2 on top because the denominator is 2. So to add this, you just add a 2 on top, that becomes 7 over 2 squared. So this becomes the profit function. That's how you can apply integration in profit functions. Thank you.